All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Bravo by Gaze. It's me, your host, Larry. I hope that you guys had an amazing Halloween last night, or the other day, actually, now, because at this point it's Saturday. But I spent my night more excited about the Real Houses of Orange County season finale than I did kind of like paying attention to like any of the Halloween festivities that were going on. I was so excited for it, and I'm so excited that I have a guest here today that we're going to get into everything that happened regarding Orange County. You guys know him. You love him. He is a chef. He is an author. He is the host of the Don't Let It Stew podcast. Guys, we have Chef Sue O'Keefe here with us today. Chef, thanks for coming. Hi. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I just, um, it's funny. I just like got off like recapping, uh, Orange County with Zach Peter. Oh, minutes. did you? Okay, yeah, it was like boom, boom, right into you. So it's great. I have a nice refresher in my head. I'm right. ready to go. Uh, I watched it. You're talking about Halloween last night. I mean, I was out last night, a bit tired today, but we're, we're getting through it. Milo, stop. He's barking. <laughs> so uh, I got home at like 10.30 last night and then yeah. watched it, forgot everything this morning and had to watch it again. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, there, hey, you're refreshed. So there you go. Exactly. I mean, OC overall for me has been such an amazing season this mm -hmm. like this year what what are your thoughts overall on the season it is it has been so good yeah like it's been so good it's like last season was fine like this season was definitely explosive like take me back like this was the first episode of this season was the dui thing right it was like yeah and you know like it's so funny i don't know if anybody knows this the night before i was with shannon stop so, it I was with <laughs> my birthday, so me, Jeff, Shannon, John, Taylor, and Taylor's husband, um, we all went to dinner at Nobu. Yeah. And we just went out for the night because my birthday. Jeff was like, oh, let's go down to Newport for the night. I was like, okay, great, like fun. And so we went down, left the next day, and that's, that's when it happened. Oh, Fuck. my I God. I know. And I that's believe insane so insane yeah. yeah yeah this season definitely brought me back like last season was good but this they really kind of like brought me back into like not wanting to miss a single beat with what's going yeah. on with these ladies like just like the drama between so like there's just drama between heather and katie there's drama between uh, heather and emily tamra and everybody like it was just it was it was so freaking good and i i Want to get your thoughts because I've heard like a lot of like speculation like throughout the entire season of the newbie. What do you think of Katie? How do you think she did this season? I love her. I do. I, re I really like her. Do you know what I love about her so much? And you know, we'll, we'll talk about it and get into it. But I was just watching it like even like an hour ago. Yeah. That scene when she just has the martini in her hand and she just triggers Heather. Yeah. Like, just there. And she's like, I don't give a fuck. Like right. so unbothered, and like I just love that energy. And I'm just even in myself in my own life. I'm trying to just be so unbothered about like when people talk shit about me or say something. I'm just like, good for you, girl. Like right. she just is giving that energy, and like I just love that she's calm. She holds her own. She's confident. She'll go up against Heather DeBro, which is like ballsy. Right. And, yeah, like I love her. I, think she's I right. love, yeah, I love that she was going up against Heather, and I love Heather. Don't get me wrong, yeah, but the it, fact that like someone had like the balls to actually do it and like not back down was so good to see. And you can tell that like it bothered Heather, mm -hmm. like because she just like wasn't, she just did not care. Like Katie just didn't, she didn't yeah. give a fuck. Like she didn't, and it's okay. Her honestly, like it's good for Heather too. Like yeah, she has boy line, she has good like powwow, and it's like it's pretty like light stuff, but yeah. It like as you said like earlier like uh, there's a lot of them have things going on which made it yeah. a season, yeah, which made it amazing and I just I loved last night's finale. I thought it was so good. I don't want to like jump too far ahead, but I will say, yeah. Emily Simpson is by far my favorite OC housewife. I, I love her. I love her so much, and I love even more when she's hammered. And her drunk at the finale party last night was it was chef's kiss. It was so good. And she comes in, she's like, I'm wasted already. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I fucking love her. She's the best. Um, I know her, like, I did a thing in her house. Like, we did a cooking thing in her house. Like, oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. I fixed her, like, the odd time and stuff. And she's just, she's just fun. Like, it's just, yeah. she's serious. She gets in there and, like, she's had to play, like, she's, it'll play, like, every character. Like, she's funny. She's serious. She's, like, 
you feel sorry for her. She has problems. She she's great. She's an all rounder. Yeah, all around all, amazing. I love her. I, uh, Gina gets a lot of hate as well. I love Gina. I just like this whole season. Um, I really feel like she brought it. I mean, the whole thing with her and her boyfriend kind of yes. like moving into separate houses. Like I don't know. Yeah. It was just like I don't know. I, good for them because apparently they are still together, so it must be working yeah. for them. I'm just like I don't know how. I don't know how she did it, but I don't know because I thought honestly like it was the end. Like when she did that, I same. thought. Oh, she has this new job now. She thinks she's the shit. She's making money, selling the houses. She doesn't need him anymore. Like, but it, but I was wrong. It was like I'm really glad that they are working on it. Like, because I do believe she really does love him. So, yeah, so do I. So I'm glad that it is working out for them. I mean, there was so I mean, just the entire season. Like having to watch him move out and then her say goodbye. I was like, this is. It was like heartbreaking. I was like, they're never going to come back from this. It's it's completely over. But I mean, they're overcoming it. So to each their own, like, good for them. I am glad to see that they are still together. Um, But I also did love kind of in that moment when Emily was kind of hammered at that party, like Heather Dubrow was also like kind of getting there. Like Terry was like, stop. And she's like, I've only had two espresso martinis. So just to see them, like, they know it's like the last, like, event that they have to film of the season that they're just going to let, like, they're just going to let go and be that loose was, Uh it's just so refreshing to see. I mean, just like when you said it there, like what is it? like she has turned from the champagne to espresso martinis now. I feel I love like it. the espresso martinis we've seen so much. I is know. that all the different housewives or is it just this one specifically? I feel like I'm seeing espresso, espresso martinis. They're everywhere. I, yeah, they are everywhere. I, I, I don't know how they're still a thing. Between housewives, that's all they drink. It seems like on Summer House, it's just I'm like espresso really? martinis. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's, that's so funny. It's crazy. No, I love it. Hammered. She's not getting hammered anymore in champagne. She's getting hammered on espresso martinis. <laughs> Literally. Even like, she's like, I only had two. And I was like, you could see it. Like, yeah. she was kind of like switching over to the other side. I was like, oh, this is great. But I love, she I just love like, like when they do that. She weighs like 10 pounds. Like I can have two espresso martinis and I feel buzzed. But I mean, for her, you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, Another moment I kind of just want to point out in the finale that I was completely obsessed with, and uh, I, I, I'm sure you will have something to say about it as well, is when Shannon kind of like left the group when she said I'm, her famous lines, like, I'm done, I'm done, and she walks away, and she's like, no, this time really I'm done. Like, no, you're not, you're not <laughs> done. But she goes up to Katie's husband, Matt, who is just what? standing there by himself, <laughs> like, what in the world? Like, okay, here's the thing. And I just was talking about this. Shannon, the whole season, and I love Shannon. Like, we used to hang out all the time. Like, love her. Yeah. Great. Great fun. And everyone felt sorry for her this season. And everybody was on board. And, you know, the girls were kind of mean to her about the alcohol and all this kind of stuff. And I was like, God, this is so mean. Like, you know, poor Shannon, all this kind of stuff. She fucking ruined it in the last episode. Now yeah. it's like, okay. This is what people are fucking talking about now with you. And you showed every, you showed everybody who you are in this last scene. She goes up to the husband and he's literally been so kind to her. Yeah. And he was like, you know, I'm done. I'm done. I always say it and stuff. And he's like, you know, well, maybe you just need to walk away. Excuse me? They say, well, yeah. He wanted to get on board with her and start bitching yeah. about the women. Like, like he's going to do that. Right. Like, come on. Poor guy was just standing there alone, like yeah. minding his own business. And she went up to him. It was <laughs> so great for her to then go back to the ladies and be like, or even just straight up to Katie and was like, what your husband just said to me was like so inappropriate. Like, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. He literally was like, it's that was the thing. Like, she's rewriting history now. And it's like, that's yeah. what Doug Jensen was saying. And it's kind of, and then they cut to him and the confessional with her and like, and oh being like, and he's like, this is kind of what she does. And, and it, it just, it brought everything together where it's like, I felt like you can't hate John anymore. Like, I yeah. don't, like, I think, you know, I think you saw a part of like what he had to put up with. Look, I don't know the other part of him or what, how he treated her or anything like that. But yeah. like, just in that, it kind of proved his point away in a way. Right. I and thought. I agree. Yeah. I agree with what you said earlier as well, where people were, kind of like on board with like supporting her for uh-huh. because all of the ladies are like being mean. I've said this before. I've never really been a huge Shannon fan. Uh-huh. There's just always been something about her that kind of just rubbed me the wrong way. I don't know. It's just, it's 
some of it just drives me crazy. But re- that aside, this season I really did get on board with that, where I was like, oh, I like feel bad for huh. her. Like I really do. Like they're giving her so much like crap for like everything that's going on, and uh, yeah, it ruined it for me. And that like at the, towards the end of it, I was <laughs> like. She just was kind of like so disgusted that like like how can you not even listen like how can you not even agree with me like the whatever you know he's like I'm just this lovely man standing here in the corner and I'm just I'm trying to be there for you and now you're attacking me yeah <laughs> I mean I and I, I I also thought that she was gonna throw more of a stink when she found out that John like had shown up to uh-huh. party thank God that she didn't and like he actually was just there to pick up Alexis which side note I really hope that this is the last that we see of Alexis Bellino. <laughs> I had like high mm-hmm. hope for her coming into the season that, and I don't know why I even thought this, that they weren't going to make her come back all about her dating John and like trying to go after Shannon. I ate my words about two episodes in when I was like, no, nope, that's exactly why she's here. She's here to like light up Shannon's like, yeah, she's here to like, blow up her world. I don't know, but I just feel like I, here's the thing. I would like to see her in one more season just because I feel like it's kind of in bad taste for Bravo just to bring her back to fuck Shannon over. Like, if you're going to bring her back, give her two seasons. Like, let her kind of redeem herself. You know, she says she got a bad edit. Like, I was at an Us Weekly party with Heather, and I was hanging out with her and John. She's actually a lot of fun. Like, yeah. Oh, she seems like she is. Yeah. Like, no, she was. I was like, I was having a conversation with her. We weren't even talking about Housewives or the show or anything, just like normal shit. Yeah. And she was a lot of fun. I could, like, I can see why John likes her. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like, very pretty in person and stuff. Like, so, yeah. I mean, it's a pity. Like, the show, they can't cut things and edit, but you did say oh, it. Oh, sure. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, but don't. And I was saying to her, I was like, she was like, you know, I need to tell the truth. I'm going to get on Instagram. And I'm like, don't i said that's the one thing i said look you'll come back in another season you'll get to redeem yourself you'll get to kind of like tell your side of the story i said if you go and try and tell a story outside of what the show shows they're not gonna like that and you probably yeah. won't bring you back then you know it's yeah. yeah no i agree i can i mean i can see her coming back if it's just not all about like john and taking shannon down like and like yeah. all of that it would have to be some type of redemption and like her kind of like wanting to show more of like her life. I don't know, which is just kind of hard because then John is just always going to be in the mix for Shannon. I don't know. It's just, it's, there's no way Shannon wins. It's a lose lose for her, I feel like at this point. Yes. Like, but you know what? She, I mean, listen, she did great with kind of handling it, I guess. I mean, not really. I don't know. <laughs> it's, just, it's been, it was overall, it was a whole mess to have. Like, one of my favorite moments from this season was like, I feel like she was just so consumed by, like, the lawsuit and, like, them trying to take her down where she sat with Emily and Heather and she just had these, like, pieces of paper with numbers written on them for, like, totaling up everything that he owed her. And I'm just like, oh, she's lost it. She's literally lost it. Like, it was just like, you know, even like John said to me, John's like, Stuart, like, I paid for a lot of shit in that relationship, too. Right. right. No, I said, I bet you did. You don't have a house on the water and a boat in Newport and you're poor. Like, you're right. not money. You know what I mean? It doesn't right. add up to me. And yeah, John was always very generous. Like when anytime we hung out with them and stuff like that, he was. Uh, but I mean, yeah, I mean, the paper is like, don't you know Excel spreadsheets? Bruh, it was so the fact that the Heather and Emily couldn't even take her seriously, oh, and oh. as soon as she pulled those papers out, they just started laughing. It like it made all, my entire all, life. Up in her pocket, like yeah, like she ripped them out of like a notebook. So she just had all these single pieces of it. It was just listen it, that's those are the, the parts and like moments like that are like what make me actually like shannon because she's yeah. so crazy yeah. that like that that's it's like endearing to like to me but i, it, I love it cute, like in that way and like yeah oblivious as well like it's hilarious um aside from shannon and like all of her drama i do want to touch on um the drama between like jen and tamra as well as like Tamara kind of really going like after Shannon this season. So I will start kind of like with Jen, which I freaking love Jen. Love. I think she is a great housewife. I literally said on her, on her Instagram, she was doing like a work on her body. Like, yeah. Her stomach is giving me like Britney Spears vibes from 2001 BMA. Yeah. Like, I love that. It's, it's amazing. And like, I, like I posted, I'm like, you are the MVP of the season. She yeah. is. 
Like, she truly is. She really is. And it's like, even Gina said, like, Gina's like, damn, like, how many more, like, shots does this girl need to go through, you know? Right. Because they just, they keep coming at her about the dress and like, oh, I care about you. Like, you spent $3,000 on the dress. And she's like, you didn't give a shit about me. Like, you just wanted fucking drama. But she, she really just has come up. And then she, like, lost it, like, with Tamara and the background yeah. thing. And everybody was like, damn, here we go. This yeah. is She's awesome. I love she, her. Yeah, she, I don't see her going anywhere anytime no. soon, especially with that ending. I think she's great. I do think as well with her, she really did handle herself like so well this season with everyone coming after her. They picked at her for everything from like the cost yeah. of how much stuff like oh. how much stuff was like. And I get it. Is the point? Of, I get it. Like they're doing a job, so they're going to comment on this stuff. But like, yeah. who cares? Like what? It, listen, she bought the dress. Well. I'm sure Ryan probably bought it for her, yeah. but she's wearing like she's got it. Uh, it was paid for somehow. Like who cares? But I get what they're doing when they're trying to like discuss it because everyone's talking about her money problems. What I did find so crazy is at their engagement party that man, that like business partner of Ryan's, that was like talking yeah. in the background, like <laughs> to, pretty much like the money laundering thing. Yes, yeah. everything. I think that was just a joke. I think because I, I think he was saying it jokingly as well. Of course, I I definitely do because I feel like Ryan has been like, oh my god, to think I'm this fucking money lender, to think I probably have a laundry mat or some shit. Right. I think I went to Vegas every like second weekend, but they're like, he's probably like, can you believe this shit? And then the guy comes in, he's like, oh yeah, I'm your look money launderer. Like that's how I can feel like it went. Like hundred percent, yes. But for him to say that, and then for the articles to be released three weeks later, it's just freaking crazy <laughs> it's well you can't make this stuff up no like i was saying like to zach earlier i was like the casting for these people like how do they know that they're like in trouble with the fbi like you've chen shaw you have ryan like right well, it seemed like he worked with the fbi did he to get away from it and the guy went to jail that's what it sounds like because i i don't know if you watched watch what happens live last night but um andy was talking to ryan about it and he said that he has like immunity from the whole thing so he's yeah. not going like he's he's safe from all of it so which thank god because i was so happy for jen and the engagement and the ring is beautiful and i just right. was, like it was kind of like like a sh like a chef's kiss or whatever at the very yeah. end she got her way she got all the girls to dress up in shitty dresses right. and like look at me now you all talk shit about me all season I've got my man. I'm happy. He's not in jail. Like, you can all gloat about the FBI bullshit, but you're all wrong. Like, whatever. And she's really had her moment. So I was like, if he goes to fucking jail, like this poor woman. Yeah. You no, know, and it looks like it's all working out. Thank God. Yeah, it seems like it. I mean, and it seems like they, hopefully they can move on from it. I mean, I don't, I can see them potentially maybe questioning her next season, just the way that it ended. But I mean, there's obviously, if, like, if Tamara comes back, I can see her kind of being like, well, what exactly was his involvement then? Like, we knew, like, we heard about all this stuff. Like, if, like the rumors were going around for so long. I really hope they just let it go, though. Yeah. Because I want to just see her, like, move on from it. There's so much more I want to see about, like, from Jen than mm -hmm. to just sit there and listen to them, like, drag Ryan and, like, her money situation. Like, leave it in the season pass and kind of just move forward with everything. You know what I mean? Because I'm sure yeah. there's, so, there's so much more for her to to show us and i'm actually lo i'm looking forward to next season i want to see the freaking wedding i want to i want to see i want to see so much more oh yeah um i have a one question for you and i know yeah. why maybe i'm the crazy person but tell me if you kind of saw this and the cameras were focusing on it and i'm like something's weird here remember yeah. when he introduced to this girl joe was it joe yeah, yeah. Did you not find that kind of weird? Like, they kind of stared on her, like, oh, this is where I met. Like, she was, you know, he was my boss and stuff. Like, do you think, like, they, like, slept together or something? I so, know. the way that they kind of, like, did it, I got that vibe where I was like, no. oh, geez. Like, but then Andy asked Andy asked him last night on Watch What Happens Live. And he oh. said no. And, he, yeah, and he said they never, like, slept together. Hooked up. Okay, thank God. Yeah, he said they never hooked up. She was his, Joe was his assistant when she was right. filming season one of Orange County. So that's how, like, they knew each other, and he was friends with Slade is, like, what he had said last night. But I got that vibe, too. I was, like, yeah, just the okay. way they kind of, like, leaned into each other, and I was, like, oh, there's something happened between them. 
Yes, 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 yes. Okay, thank God. I'm glad about that. Because I just, I can't see, I just don't want to see Jen being, like, knocked again. Oh, I, I yes, too much. I totally get it, yeah. If she would have came in and been like, oh, how do you know Ryan? Oh, well, we fucked. I'm like, no, we don't need, <laughs> like, I would hope Joe would know better than to not say that so she has, like, no kind of connection to the show anymore. She pops in for a finale party, and that's about yeah. it. But it was good to see her, though. I love I love Joe DeLarosa. Um, uh, Vicky looks great. Vicky well. does look great. I, and she is, she's another one where I've just never, like, as the years went on, I just kind of grew to, like, not really be such a fan of hers. But yeah. she, I, you can't knock the fact that she looks amazing. Just way, like I kind of like I feel like they could have kind of included her a bit more in the season. Like I, I kind of do like her perspective a bit. Like, yeah. The same way as you. Like I didn't love her in the earlier seasons. Like she kind of just drove me crazy a bit. But I kind of like her now. I feel like she's a bit more like grown up. She's a bit more of an adult. She kind of she's just more mature the way she talks. Yeah. You know, like, I kind of don't mind hearing that. I love when she comes in and she's like, "We are grown women. We shouldn't be acting like this." And then like. I'm just like, wait. Do you remember how you were? Like, in the, like, do you re, do you not remember? It's like, this is exactly what we do. <laughs> yeah, literally. Um, what What are your thoughts on uh, moving on, kind of like from Jen, um, but like Tamara's involvement in like everything this season regarding like Jen and like the background check or like her going after Shannon? I feel like Tamara, she like came in hot this season and like didn't really like let let it go like she just she maintained that like steady through all the way through steady all the way through. yeah i agree with you um i feel like she felt like she had to really bring it or yeah. i didn't think she needed to bring it as much she's always like a good bit of, she's always good drama anyway 100 percent. people like liked Tamara, but now i feel like they're just like oh i don't know if i like you anymore like you, you just kept doubling down and i just feel like the alcoholic comments were just too much yeah she it was got, every time she saw her like, <laughs> single time like go oh, have another drink like you're an alcoholic and it's like mm, you know probably legal accusations are probably confessions you know yeah. but like and then we see Tamara being absolutely wasted and then her husband looking at her going like uh, you fucking had too much like stop right so yeah. Yeah, it was a lot. It was almost like she felt the need to always have to prove, like, her innocence yeah. in something, even though she was, like, complicit in, like, what was going on. And when she should have just left it alone. Like, you don't, like, I get where you want to, like, prove yourself. Like, with the text with Shannon in regards to the background check with Ryan, yeah. whatever Shannon left out that she didn't show Jen, that Tamara was so adamant about, like, wanting to yeah. show her. Like, you could have just let that go and... Like, pick and choose your battles, pretty much, is, like, what I'm trying to say. You yeah. don't have to kind of, like, go full force on, like, every situation. And it kind of, like, and I love Tamara. Like, I lo I, like yeah. I've always been a fan of her, but it kind, of, it kind of, like, was a turnoff for me this season. Or it's just, like, you're, like, you can do so much better than this. I know. It's just, yeah. It was, like, just be there for your friend. She got a DUI. If she wants to have a drink, she can have a drink. She's not an alcoholic. Right. right. Like, <laughs> yes, DUI is very serious and she went to her like outpatient rehab thing like daily or whatever and you know she made an effort she looks amazing she doesn't look like drunk to me right. uh, she's doing the work like, yeah she's doing the work and I even just... after the DUI I saw her shortly after at BravoCon in Vegas and, and she looked stunning yeah. she looked amazing I thought you were there too I was there as well and um and I just I even the fact that shortly after this I think it was what maybe a couple weeks after this happened, she went yeah. to BravoCon and like faced everyone, yeah. and it was like kudos to you. Like you know, what I, I like I would not if that were me, I wouldn't be able to do it. But she did. She picked herself up and she went, yeah, because you're right, because it was like November, and then that happened like in September 16th or whatever it did. Yeah, it's crazy. yeah, yeah. I was like standing there and I saw her walk by. I was like, oh wow, like she looks amazing, I and mean, I can't believe she's here right now. <laughs> she had but nice. um. There was another thing that I wanted to just t like touch on real quick with OC, and then I kind of just want to pick your brains for a couple minutes about Salt Lake City. But at the end, and I know we said that we're happy that Jen and Ryan like are free from this lawsuit stuff. There was one moment towards the end where though where I did question like, and I get it. In the moment, this was filmed what maybe almost a year ago, so so much time has passed. So my thoughts now are not really, I'm kind of more so thinking of like at the moment when they're filming, 
when Jen at the end met up with um, um, or who'd she meet up with? Gina and Katie. And Gina was just telling her like, I don't think that this guy is like a good guy for you. Like, I think that like you're in a bad relationship. And Jen goes to the girls, what part of him is wrong for me? <laughs> like, she's there talking to her girlfriends about what had just happened. And then the fact that she was still thinking like, what part of him is wrong for me? I was like, oh, geez, Louise. I know. And again, I'm putting that like, I'm in the mindset of like them in the moment filming that my, obviously my thoughts now are completely different since it was like, we're in real time now. But the fact that she couldn't see it in that moment, what the girls were saying about him was, I was like, oh God. I was like, she's like drunk in love. And I, oh, <laughs> it was, it fine. was so oh. good. Yeah. Um, all right. I kind of want to scoot off away from Orange County. I want to talk to you a little bit about your thoughts on Salt Lake City. I uh, don't want to get too much into it, but I just want to like kind of see where you're at with what's happened so far. What are your thoughts on Bronwyn, the newbie? I like her. Same. I love her. I do like her. I like her outfit. She's quirky. I mean, she's so crazy with the <laughs> whole board thing, with the outfits, the costumes. Oh, my God. You got to stop. I mean, is maybe, like, does the husband have, like, a fetish for costumes? Literally. <laughs> it was so fun. Like, the fact that she does it every time that he comes home from a trip, it was hilarious and then like, i thought i literally was like oh was he into this but then i think he was like i think he told her to like stop or he's like he looked at her like you're crazy i can't believe you do this yeah uh, i agree though i think she's a great addition to salt lake city i love that she's not afraid to kind of stand up to any of the other ladies and she is really kind of holding her own when it comes to uh, her and heather and yeah. everything that's going on with her and lisa so i think she's a great addition i love i almost like fell over when i found out that her husband like created the palm pilot like do you remember those i don't know i don't know yeah is that what he did he was the founder of like the original palm pilot <laughs> like, so which so they've got the money she's got the fashion so like i think she's a great addition i'm loving seeing how she is like actually building friendships with like angie and like some of the other ladies so i think overall she's doing great what are your thoughts on Mary Cosby? She, here's the thing. She drove me fucking crazy last season. Like, first season, the great. She was always quirky and weird and stuff like that. And, um, I mean, she is a bit of a hoarder. I mean, did you see that bedroom that time? Oh, my like, God. You know, yeah. Like, like, and so she's amazing. Like, last season pissed me off. And I feel like she just wasn't getting paid last season that much. And she was like, you know what? All these bitches are probably making more money than me. I'm just going to do the bare minimum. That right. did drive me crazy, like her sitting in the van wanting McDonald's or whatever it was, you yeah. know? And this season, like, it's like a different person. She's fully like, into it. On medication or something, and it's like brightened her up. She's still weird. She's still quirky. She says the most, like, obscure things in the weirdest times. Yeah. It's, she's amazing. I, she, yeah, I, I think she's just fully dove into the fact that she needs to, like, show up and work if she wants to, like, get the paycheck. Yeah, she's doing just that. Like it, the stuff that comes out of her mouth is insane. My favorite moment so far this season is like when they were at Angie's like party, and she's like fighting with Heather, and then they are like done fighting. Then she sits down next to these two little girls and is venting to the little girls about what just happened. <laughs> like, Amazing! Oh my god, it's the funniest fucking thing. I really I my ass off of that. There, the kids are like, wait, what? Like, yeah here like, literally like why are you talking to us and it i think i just have. think that she's so in it now after season one i was like this woman is fucking nuts and yeah. then like she really just grew on me and like now i just i i'm loving the relationship between her and angie and yes. it's just the season overall so far i think is so good i uh, i'm still trying to feel out this britney woman and whether or not like I don't know. She kind of drives me a little crazy with like all this like Osmond situation, like everything going on with her quote unquote boyfriend or best friend or whatever. But there's also like that new friend of her name is Melly, and like we really haven't seen much of her. So I'm hoping that we get to see more of some of the ladies that they were adding into the cast. But overall, I think it's been great. I am loving every second of it. And uh, I feel like they're, they're like almost halfway through. I think they're 
they've done like eight episodes so far. So, I mean, we still have half a season to go to see what happens. Yeah. Jesus. I, this, I know. Like, the seasons are going so fast. The way Beverly Hills coming up soon, which is like. Which I literally cannot wait for. Yeah, I cannot wait for it. And um, I was talking to Zach Peter there earlier and he said he watched the first episode and he said it's good. He's like, oh, good. good. Yeah. I, has a nice little cliffhanger at the end he said which is yeah the trailer i mean it looks i'm like ready for them there's i'm ready for them to be back there's so much that's like coming up now the fall is here beverly hills there's like southern charm do you watch southern charm southern charm is coming back don't no so i yeah i there's i need to start watching maybe a bit more um there's like, so many shows though like to keep up with all of them is insane crazy. it's like i know my friend was like last night my friend jason was like you need to watch potomac it's so good i'm like i can't do another one like i'll die i know it's yeah. a lot to keep up with it is but beverly hills is going to be so i think that's going to be great the trailer like everything going on with jury and yeah, kyle I'm, and mauricio and pk and like just all really, all of it one thing that the trailer that i really liked was um and tell me if I'm right or wrong with this, that PK is texting Kyle. Yeah. I want to hear, like, I, I want to, I want to know what the texts are. What the texts are, exactly. And also, I really need Beverly Hills to be really good this season because I barely watched it last season. I just was yeah. kind of last season. I don't know why. So I'll get into it. I'm going to give it my full attention when it comes back because I've always really liked Beverly Hills. I've yeah. always really liked it. No, it's always it's also always been like one of my favorites as well, and I I, I hope so because I get what you're saying. So many people just kind of like fell off, like yeah. mid season. They're like, if not enough is happening, they're just gonna stop watching. And uh, I really hope that they kind of just keep they carry it all the way through. I mean, I feel like Sutton is gonna bring it this season. I feel like everything like it seems like a bunch of them are going after Kyle, and I just I, the drama seems like it's there. Although it was only a two minute trailer, I mean it's obviously not what the whole season is going to be but it yeah. looks good i mean talking of like people falling off i mean i think i'm falling off new york oh my god jesus Same. I, what the fuck like and the dr- ratings are dropping i don't even think it'll come back to a third season yeah i literally i'm glad you said that because i have i'm not even like tuning in when it airs i'll like try and catch it a couple days later if i if it's something like i i feel like i want to watch but I don't know what it is. They they lost me. They they really did. I don't know. That's just uh, yeah. I don't. I mean, look. I props to Bravo for trying and stuff like that, and trying to get like the new modern women. And but you know, it was always about like these women on the Upper East Side that were kind of like out of touch, and that was kind of the, right. That was like the the gem of it. You know what I mean? And now yeah. it's like, they're trying to be inclusive and everything. And like I don't know. What's I don't know. Yeah, I get what they're trying to do. I just feel like some. I feel and I, I think what. It, it to me it feels a little bit like is that maybe last season some of them being like fan favorites really got to their head so they're really trying to like keep uh-huh. that momentum this season and it just kind of feels like they're doing too much self-producing yeah where it just seems fake and it's like not interesting to watch That's the thing. it's a self-producing thing drives me right you yeah can't... there was a yeah there was a moment where like i think Bryn was talking to either Rebecca Minkoff or the yeah. other one, and she was like, oh, you should do this. <laughs> like, telling her, like, what she should do in order to, like, spark some type of, like, moment. And I was like, oh, come on. We don't want to see that. But, they, but, like, why is probably, like, why are the editors even putting that in? Right. Now it's like you're kind of telling us that they're kind of making up shit? Like, <laughs> Right. And I don't even know. It was such a small moment. It could have, yeah. I don't know if many people even caught it. No, but, a lot of people did, because yeah. I saw it on other Bravo accounts and stuff like, like oh, like, I can't get over, like, Bryn tried to tell Rebecca like Minkoff like how to be on TV or something like that. Right. Yeah. I mean, who knows what's going to happen with it? But I, I agree. It's something that I really kind of fell off, of, fall fell off of, and I'm not really kind of like keeping up the way that I used to. Yeah. But I don't. There's, there's. Listen, if it's one less show that I have to keep up with, that's okay because there's about. 15 right now that i'm watching I see jersey back i just fucking want oh back. my god i know season i do like i i, I want to like text dolores today and be like look have you heard anything she's not going to tell me anyway <laughs> hey at least you're putting it out there like that's, that is she is hands down my favorite new jersey housewife i freaking love her love her i love and her i would i would be okay with them just bringing her like <laughs> cast it around her and let her do it it Speaking of, real quick, before we kind of wrap up, since we just brought up Jersey, who would you bring back if you could? 
okay, I love Margaret. I love Dolores. Those two like to have to stay. Look, Jen Aiden kind of pisses me off, but she does kind of bring the great little spicy drama to it. So yeah. I kind of like would keep her. Um, <sighs> Teresa, like you just have to have Teresa there. And you know, look, I I like Melissa too. I like Teresa. I like Melissa. I like them all. Bring them like, all there. <laughs> Jen Fester kind of annoyed me towards the end of last season. She was kind of like, she wants to be on everybody's side. She was kind of trying too hard. She yeah. could go for me. I don't need her there. Yeah. Um, who else? She seemed just kind of over it too at the end. Yeah. Like she like she just didn't want to be there. It's like, I don't like this drama. It's like, do you fucking know what show you're on? Right. You're getting paid to be a part of this. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, Dolores and Margaret, then there's Melissa, Teresa. Who am I missing? Danielle and Rachel. Love those two. I'm yeah. Sorry. They are a great cast. Like, they, yeah. there was nothing wrong with the season. Like, look, I really feel, I really, really feel, and look, I'm, everything can be made good. I don't give a fuck how many fights you have with somebody or anything like that. There's always a way to figure things out. And I yeah. just feel like they just need to sit down, the two of them, even for the show and be like, look, we don't need to be fucking best friends. But we just got to get along. We got to yeah. be cordial with each other. We don't have to have lunches. We can kind of just stay on the text messages, be a bit, figure it out. Right. So at the end of the day, it's a paycheck. You know what and I mean? a good one. And like, a good, like... Not, not a while. So it's a good one. So I feel like they should just go to Bravo. Like, look, we're going to squash the beef. We're ready to shoot again. We want to create a great season, blah, 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 blah. And just let's start rolling the cameras again. I mean, fingers crossed that they do because I really do like, I, I liked so many of them that like for them to break it up and only bring a couple of them back and like do a re a revamp of the cast like and it just wouldn't feel the same but i i completely get what you're saying and the fact that they can't even coexist melissa and Teresa, like without even like throwing a little jab or like all yeah. of a sudden like something explodes and the two of them are like now going at it when it had nothing to do with them like Oh, I freaking love Jersey. I really like. No, I like. I was so mad. Like I, like I watched like the first one or two seasons when I first started, and then I kind yeah. of, and then I came back because it was after I wrote the cookbook with Amy Phillips. I was just yeah. like really in there, and then I got to know a few of them, and I was like, okay, I need to watch this now because I like, you know, so I can like text them during. I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> if you said, that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, I feel like they're going to be on pause for so long though. So who knows what's going to happen with that, but. Yeah. Just do. Thank you so thank you. much for being you. here. I really appreciate it. I had such so much fun talking to you. Plug all of your stuff. Let them know. Um, yeah, so you can follow on. me for wonderful recipes. It's Thanksgiving is coming up. I post like Instagram reels like every like like three to four times a week. Beautiful recipes at Chef Stuart O'Keefe. You can follow me on my podcast. Don't let it stew wherever you get podcasts. I do it once a week. Basically, like pop culture stuff, a bit of housewives, a bit of this, a bit of that. I get shit off my chest. Super fun. And um, and that's it. And then I have seasonings. Chefstore.com. If you want seasonings for your Thanksgiving cooking, go over there if you want to grab some. You've got it all going on. All right, mm-hmm. guys. Thank you so much for listening. Just a heads up on my end. Um, Sonia in your city. We are coming to Boston. The tickets are now on sale. It is Saturday, February 22nd at the Somerville Theater. So the link is in my bio. So make sure to get tickets for that. And uh, I will talk to you guys next week. Bye.